There should be more of the paint bots here, right? Yes. Not a hundred yet. Fuck. Here we go. There we go. Good. We're ready. There's the. See, because I noticed there's a little challenge hole right there. New challenge. And the engine. Oh, I could skip. I, I forgot about this. Oh, yeah, so I apologize if there are moments where I could have skipped even. Thanks for the rescue blob. They caught me behind inky lines on a spy mission. I found out that Ink have developed a new war machine to use against us. Stay alert, blob. It could be anywhere. Yeah, so about the Ink War Machine, it's actually a, gi a giant tank, and these things are actually pretty cool and stuff, and they require 100 paint points to destroy them. But they only- and- but in the sequel to Blob 2, they completely got rid of these things. I mean, I was kind of disappointed, because I really love those tanks and stuff. I thought they're pretty cool, you know? But I feel like maybe it's because it's like, kind of a hassle, I guess, because you know, 100 paint points and all? I don't know, I think that's why- oh shit! <laughs> I'm gonna avoid them, because I don't have any paint. Ah, fuck. Oh god, almost dead. Oh, fuck. oh, I was going in circles, damn. Alright. Okay, got it. Wow. That was close. Alright, what to do next? Hmm. Yeah, so... What was I talking about? Hmm. Oh yeah, I was talking about the tanks and stuff. Yeah, I was disappointed they got rid of it, and that's about it. Alright, got it. So, oh, I could've just painted the wall to where I was going. Oh well. What can you do? Is there any more, like, the prof challenges or something? I don't know. Oh wait, I remember! I, uh, there was supposed to be a transform engine that was supposed to hit. Completely forgot about that. Oh fuck, whoa. Yeah, that's what, I was talk that's, what I was that's what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. Oh, there, there we go, that's what I was looking for. Alright, come on, come on. Oh, fuck, why, why am I saying come on? I, I have the ability to skip. Fuck me. Alright. So, yeah, so, anyway, so I've been, so the thing I like to look at, I know I've been talking about YouTuber couples and stuff, and like just those like guys on like the couples on YouTube that I wish I also like would have it because I the thing is though is about me is that like just looking at these people I would say it just makes me happy like you know that knowing that something like that exists and something might something like that might happen to me that kind of thing. This was an aquarium where people could buy brightly colored goldfish. Now it is the ink courthouse where they convict innocent radians for so-called color violations. Let's let's see some real justice block. Turns the structure to, to a 50 red points. <laughs> Alright, 50 red, huh? I just need to... Yeah, here we go. Actually, the one thing I want to talk about is that I actually find it kind of strange, you know, for girls in general, how the females are, are have attachments to their father, so that's why they're called daddy's girls. 
uh, like daddy's girl, and then there's the males that are very close to their moms, so then they're called mama's boy kind of thing. I kind of find it fascinating how this the, the certain offspring of the opposite of the certain offspring would be very close to the opposite sex kind of thing, you know? Because I actually like my both my dad and my mom equal, I would say, you know, and so that kind of thing. So I find it kind of like strange how it's usually there's this thing that like. Oh, the, the girl, the dad is very attached to the girl and the mom's attached to the boy kind of thing. So, and that's another thing I noticed that in relationships and everything, it's usually the father or even the brother that's like the biggest cock blocker for wanting to, the, for the guy wanting to, to go with the girl and stuff. Man, I mean, I can understand why. As a matter of fact, my dad, when he was going out with my mom, like, my mom's brother didn't really like my dad very much. It was kind of funny. So he was that kind of the that kind of brother that's like very suspicious of the male that the mom that the mom's going out with. But I mean, of course, he he loves him now, obviously, and he actually loves me a lot. He's actually the the, the same guy that the same uncle that was very suspicious of my dad going out with my mom. He was the very first uncle that actually saw me as a baby. So you know. It was kind of a very sweet moment, I would say. And I really love him, by the way, so that kind of thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, what else? Oh, I think that's it. I think we gotta move onward. Alright. I don't know why they put those hot plates around, because you just, you know, slam it, you know? Alright, next one. Follow this road toward the chroma, chroma dam blob. See how the river is polluted with ink? Make your way across the bridge. Oh, it looks like it's like a mine or something. There's those little machines that you know, machine you saw there. Zip, zip heard a heavy engine sound at the top of the hill. Alright, let's do this. 21 minutes to spare, wow. Gotta take my time then. I love how sunlight gradually comes over when I start painting. I love it. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh shit, my, my Wii Remote is acting funny. Hold on. There we go. Alright. Sorry about that. Minor technical difficulties, but it's all good. And my, my nunchuck works very well, it's just that sometimes once in a while, like, it, it's just not up to snuff, I would say. But it still functions properly, so I'm not worried. I'm gonna paint that building. There we go. Where are they being set free? Find them. Oh, here they are. I don't really like brown. Give me blue. Alright. So, yeah, so. Whoa! I did not expect that they just fell out of nowhere. This is a big paint bo blob. It has taken on so much paint, it's ready to burst. Hold Z and slam it to get 30 paint points in one hit. Great. I'm already 100. This poor dockside nut neighborhood is cursed with two ink landmarks. Blast this radiant reduction center with 50 yellow paint points. Behind you is a propaganda tower in need of 30 green pain points. You'll find the big pain bot very handy for this operation. Oh, okay. I'm already green. Al I'm green already, so I might as well do the uh, the green one, right? Uh, if I could find it. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Okay. That blue pain bot better not get in the way. There we go. Next yellow. Oh shit, is this gonna take some- oh wait, 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 okay, here we go. I was wondering if that's gonna suck out time out, or if you know what I'm saying, but it didn't, so that's good. Alright. Oh, it didn't get rid of the flames. Wow, I thought it would. Oh, okay, now it did, wow. 
I was like, what, what, why isn't it happening? Or why isn't it working on me? Okay, where is the... There. Where is that? Oh, I missed one. There we go. We're dead. Hmm. Is it back here? I'm trying to find where is that other engine. Because I, I had to skip in order to. So I apologize. Uh, is it somewhere here? I, I have no idea. I think it's somewhere outward. I have a feeling it's out, yeah, not, not in my area. So, yeah. What was I talking about? Fuck. I don't need 1-up. <laughs> I'm like so, like, a whole lot of 1-up. Like, so, I mean, like, yeah, so a lot of, uh, you know, 1-ups and stuff. Lives, I would say. I don't call them, like... Oh, where is it? Yeah, I'm not, complete, I'm not gonna finish this level until I hit the engine. But I'll continue onward while I'm at it, I would say. Look out, here's that new ink weapon I warned you about. Get ready to rumble blob. This is an ink tank. You'll need plenty of paint to take it out, Blob. Ink, uh, tanks. Tanks fire and hit you from a distance. Keep moving and avoid being hit. Slamming a, ta a tank costs 100 paint points. Though I like in the sequel how you can upgrade, uh... Oh, there it is! Found it. There you go. Strike it! There you go. Oh I, oh, I was gonna see if I could die from the water because I'm zero, but that's okay. Next time. So that's where it was. Wet. There we go. I'm not doing the paint. I really don't like, you know, the paint challenges, honestly. They're, like, very tedious. Of course, there's some of them that are mandatory, but I mean, I could do those, but, you know. It's one of the fun stuff. Oh, fuck, I'm trying to. Paint bot. Giant one. I did not notice that. Alright, so what else to talk about? Sorry, I'm just trying to recollect my thoughts because I think I've spoken a lot of what I wanted to say. So yeah, I just I just yearn to have a girlfriend and stuff. But of course, if I can't have one, then I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. Because honestly, like I said, my dream is more important. But of course, like I said, I wouldn't mind if a girl would approach to me and like talk to me and stuff and we form a relationship. Like it would happen now in college and that would be like good for me too, you know, so. I'll definitely look forward to that. But I mean, I just, I guess I'd like to talk about is that I kind of have this feeling that the reason why I'm talking all, about all this now is that I have this feeling that it's probably, it's more likely that I'm never going to have a girlfriend in the future because just the way I am, like I'm very quiet and introverted and I don't socialize that much, that's why. Hence, it makes it a lot harder for me to actually find a girl to, you know, start a relationship and stuff, so... Oh, oh, I can't activate it yet. So, that kind of thing. So, I, uh, honestly, like, if that's the case, then, well, I mean, it would be kind of sad, but I just then hope that I would have a stable career and, like, just accomplish my dreams. And if not, then I just have to go through some therapy and stuff and try to, you know, get my mind at ease, I would say. And the thing about me is that I'd rather go through like a social, like, 
go through social services or like go to a, a psychologist or a psychiatrist in another state. I mean, I have been through some of them in this state, but it's just that I feel like if I were to go to a state like Massachusetts, because it's like a, it's a first world, it's like a very, it's a state with with high, with a very high human development index. I mean, Florida, it's kind of second or third world compared to where you live, I would say. Like, I mean, where I live, it's kind of, I would say second world, but I mean, you know, it's decent, I would say. It's not great, but it's not horrible either. So I actually think that going to a state like a, a democratic blue state not and stuff would where they have, of course, high taxes, but I do believe that taxes, like, the when you get more, when you put in more tax, then the quality of life gets bigger, but of course it depends on where you're spending. Like, take California, for, for instance, not doing so well, but that's because it has such high taxes, but it's like spending on just useless shit, I would say, like, such as, like, say the death penalty, for example, in California, they have the highest number of death row in inmates, and they're spending a shit ton of money on appeals and stuff, and not bothering to abolish it, they would save a shit ton of money if they do. So, honestly, they should do that, and then, therefore the taxpayer money would go through things that are needed to fix, to help the state of California, like, say, all that, you know, homeless, the homeless problem in San Francisco and stuff, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I'm also getting kind of hungry. Definitely after this, I'm gonna go eat. I'm doing a lot of stuff today. Anyway. When I mean a lot of stuff, I mean a lot of stuff in this game. But I know there's a whole lot of stuff I need to go through, so... Let me take my time and look around. Have <clears throat> hmm. been through this area? I know I, there was the Z launch pad and stuff on the other side, but I mean... Uh, maybe I have to do that challenge, let me see. The prop has invented a wind cannon. It can throw you clear over this wall of the building. We, we need more uh, a color energy to fire it up. Okay, this one I have to do. Paint these tall buildings yellow, orange, and red. Okay, yeah, this one I have to do. See, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, let's start with red, uh, or actually orange, there's two orange right here. Okay, now red, or yellow, red. Oh, okay, here we go. See, this is what I'm talking about. Alright, I have to wait, or, yeah, I'm just gonna have to wait for this thing to fill up. Hold on. Come on, yellow. There you go. Maybe I should have done yellow first, I guess. There you go. So that's what I need to do it's in order to go to get to the wind cannon. There are new challenges available. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. So these are the only paint challenges I would do. Other than that, everything else is like useless to me. This is a wind cannon blob. You can use it to travel safely across distances. When the manhole is open, roll onto it and press A to launch. If the manhole is closed, completely nearby, to complete near, a nearby challenge to open it. This one is ready now. Give it a shot. That's the tank depot. Shut it down and stop their tanks. Oh yeah, I have to shut that building down, definitely. We need to rescue the dam workers from the island jail. 
finally must cross the ink to chrome down. Okay, that's what it's called, chrome down, fuck. Alright, okay, I have to speak to the professor immediately. There we go. The tank depot is behind me blog. This is where inks construct their terrible new weapons. Paint the depot the, the depot with 100 purple paint points and stop the tank production line. Okay. Purple, got it. Fucking hell. And I have to dodge these things. And I'm brown. Okay. Come on. Oh, fuck. Ain't goddamn purple. Hold on. Purple, okay. Oh shit, fuck. This thing- Oh, I'm not purple yet. But I have to at least do some damage. Okay, fuck. Now I gotta- Cause one shot's gonna kill me. Okay, survival rate increasing. There we go. Now I gotta take care of that tank. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Okay, get out of here, fuck. Our new challenge is available, God damn it! Come on. I'm gonna die here, that's, that's for sure. There's a tank right in front of me, right? Sorry, I'm not pressing the skip button, I just wanted to know that the ch what challenges are next. Fuck, fuck, okay. 100 exact, because it's not wise to hit the tank if you don't have... Oh, fuck. Okay, oh, okay, there we go. Ah, oh, come on! Okay, at least I'm not... I have a hundred... Oh, okay, there we go. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. Okay. There we go. Destroyed. Fucking hell. Oh, can I die? Oh! Water doesn't kill you, but it gives you 10. Oh, that, that's actually pretty. Mm, that's pretty handy, actually. So if I can't find any pain pots, this water will, will do. Okay, nice. Yeah, I discovered water wasn't really that toxic to you, only in the sequel. In this game, I, I had no idea. Anyway, I'm not doing that pain challenge. I just want to do the prof. Or the, uh, running ones, I guess. Alright, how long have I been- Oh, almost an hour and 30 minutes. Okay, yeah. I just want to finish this level, that's it. Oh, fucking hell. Alright, yeah, so the goal is unlocked, but I want to complete this. Uh, I like purple. I know there is that thing, but eh. It's not really worth much to me, so... Oh! Oh yeah, I'd probably die if that happened. Alright. You've reached the damn wall, Bob. That machinery is pumping ink downstream. Make your way up the wall, but if beware of the hazards. At the top, restore the dam and clean the waterways below. Alright, let's do this. Boom. Alright, I think that's how you get the other way, but 
Let me do this one. We gotta reach the source of the pollution in the river bluff. I know it's not mandatory, I need you to do a recon across the ink so that Artie can work out with you. He's a Oh, uh, actually no, this one's probably kind of hard, so... No thanks. It's not mandatory, I just want to do the prof challenges. Comrade Black's powerhouse of pollution is before us, the Chrome Dam. You must climb up here, but be careful, Ink to have a set of hazards to stop you. At the top, hit the three weak points with 50 yellow, 50 blue, and 50 green paint points. Now is the time block. Transform the dam and clean up the waterways. It's a three star, huh? Sure thing. Alright, I'm already green, but let me be yellow. Oh, shit, sorry. It's okay, I have time. Oh, fuck. Oh, I fought. Oh, god. Oh, it is gonna be hard. Wow. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, this is gonna be requiring some concentration, that's for sure. Oh, fuck! Come on, oh, come on. Oh, oh, actually, wait, 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 I'm pretty sure it's like paint bots on the on some of the question mark areas, right? Okay. Yes. Okay, green. Where do I go? Oh, here we go. Oh, I see, I get it. Oh, I'm already at the top. Ah, fuck. Oh god. Oh, wait, 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 water. Okay. Oh, <laughs> imagine if I die here. Alright, what else, what else? Oh, I need yellow. Alright, good. Alright. I think this leads to some yellow. There we go. Oh, of course.
So yeah, I'm gonna go just down. I, I'm gonna go check down and uh, to check to see if there's uh, any of those transform engines. I don't think there are because I don't see it on my thing. But I just want maybe maybe just to finish up what I was talking about and stuff. So yeah, so I'm, I'm I really love just watching YouTuber girls, YouTube couples and stuff. This is something that I really want to have like a girlfriend in life, but I don't know if it's probably it's probably never gonna happen, but uh, you know what, at, at least viewing this stuff kind of makes me happy and and I hope and I really do hope that they would have fulfilling lives and everything and I will also I'll definitely use my knowledge and you know what I like, you know, becoming a scientist and a politician to like, you know, improve their lives, basically be a service to humanity, and that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, I'll leave it at that. And I actually I was also checking to see if maybe there's other stuff I want to like paint over and stuff and everything, but I think there's not no transforming engine and stuff. Uh, so I think that's it. Oh, I didn't notice that. They're one of those piston things. I really hate those things. They're so annoying. Alright, I just, I just want to finish it now. Oh fuck! It's like right when it steams, you know? Through the fuck. Alright, that's about it. Yep, we're done here. Oh, it's 327. Okay. Alright, that's not too late. Because I also gotta study for a bit. I've actually been going through my textbook a lot, but I just wanna do just one more study and stuff. And then I'm gonna also. I'm gonna watch the movie How to Train Your Dragon 2 again because I've already watched the first one yesterday. I'm gonna watch the second one today because I'm gonna prep myself up to watch. How to Train Your Dragon 3, I'm really excited about it. I love the How to Train I love the How to Train Your Dragon movies, so I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, that's all there is about talking about YouTuber girls and YouTuber couples, and I got everything I needed to say and next and this weekend I'm gonna definitely watch the European YouTuber Girl and the DeviantArt YouTuber Girl. So I'm really excited about that. I'll definitely tell you guys like, you know, what uh, what I think of it and stuff. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time!